recording now. Welcome back to the Character Chaos Tournament with myself, the Slorg. Also with me, as always, Lord Comet. Say hello. hello. Howdy, howdy, howdy. And also with me, as always, is Bad Mr. Pumpkin. How's it going? Get down with your bad self. Hello. Alrighty. Back for uh, episode number two. Last last uh, season or episode or whatever you want to call it. We had Neo from The Matrix winning uh, it all. Yep, he did. Absolutely. I don't think he had too many problems with it either. No. No. He killed the blob. He even. He killed the blob. I think he was the only one who could possibly kill the blob. He turned him human, and then he killed him. <laughs> you are now a human. Now you die. Yes! Yes! What the heck is that? <laughs> it's them bison. Awesome. So anyway, um, bison. Now we are back with a new slew of characters. Uh, from various random places, several of which have been brought in by uh, outside sources, which is good. Mm-hmm. And we already have some people for the uh, third Character Chaos Tournament. All right, and we're going to have... Contender number one. We have... Bowser... Also known as King Koopa. Ha! King cool. Koopa, Bowser from the Super Mario Brothers series of games. Uh, a little bit more powerful than you would originally think. Yeah. I'll go through a few things that he can do. As soon as I get to the page that has them on it. He also can spawn children from nowhere. Yeah, really. <laughs> he, that's one. Yeah, you could call that a power. He impregnates uh, whatever it is. I think it's Birdo. Many <laughs> it's Birdo. All right. Major powers we've got. He breathes fire, has a protective shell, and has super strength. Early odds of survival were set at 50%. A more detailed uh, thing of his powers. Has a large spike shell that he can use as defense. He can also breathe fire and performs various magic spells. The full extent of his spellcasting ability is unknown, but he has been shown to summon ghosts. Summon lightning bolts, teleport, turn into stone, increase his size, shrink his opponent, even turn them into frogs, and then Super Smash Brothers, shut up, Bird, I swear to God I will backhand you. <laughs> In Super Smash Brothers, he is capable of transforming into Giga Bowser. Shut up! A much faster and stronger <laughs> version of himself that does not become stunned even when hit by the strongest attacks. I think so I guess he's kind of like the, uh, the Marvel. In that instance, in that he does not get moved when he gets hit with powerful attack. But. But. He also has an army. Yeah, he's got a Koopa yeah. army the size of Minnesota. Now, depending on who he goes up against, sometimes he, those, some of those things might actually work some of them up. Yep, and Let's he. See who's, uh, and you know who's going up against? Hello, it's me, Mario. Woohoo! And he finally beats him. He just breathes, he just turns him into toasted Mario. <laughs> toasted Mario, like a cereal. It probably is. There probably is a Mario cereal with with that guy who plays him in the show, Super Mario Brothers. You mean show. Captain Lou Albano? Oh, yike! Yeah, Lou Albano is on the cover of the cereal. <laughs> awesome. Well, unfortunately for Bowser, he is not going up against Mario. He is, in fact, going up against She-Ra. Uh, <laughs> oh, golly, are you kidding me? I think I think he wins. I, I think, think he... Yeah, well, no, She-Ra's actually proved herself pretty well in some of it, sort of. Her voice actress is Melanie she Britt, Britt, and uh, She-Ra is the female He-Man, supposed to be. Yes. Yeah, I've got her... Uh, I've got her major powers, the super strength, speed, and agility. Early odds of survival, 65%. As the sister of He-Man, She-Ra also has a sort of power, which grants her increased strength, speed, and agility. She can swim much faster than ordinary humans and can lift entire buildings. 
She can also communicate with animals and can transmute her sword into whatever she needs at any given time. Despite her strengths, she will often choose to outsmart her enemies rather than confront them head on. And Bowser, so yeah, Bowser is uh, dumb. Yeah, <laughs> she's, not only, she's not only strong, she's smart too. But here's the thing: I have to ask because she needs to use the power to trans the sword to transform, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, and she, she does, of course, have her sword with her. Well, yeah, but I uh, could Bowser kill her before she can do that? Because she has to say. Like by the power of Grayskull. I Actually, power. it's for the honor of Grayskull, Miss Benoda. Uh, yes. Well, I don't know she I never saw it before. I do, because my nieces watch She-Ra, so I sort of, you know, watch along with them. Really? It's like like 30 years old, isn't it? Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the kids. Sure, it, it, it's, it's, a fem it's a female <laughs> role model that kicks ass. What uh, What else do you, else do you need? Uh, Samus. Very true. It was just like Samus from Metroid. That's a good female role model. Oh, yeah. Samus. Samus and no story. Actually, we should use her for future uh, future tournament. Samus kicks butt. She's she uh, uh, in the new Metroid, the other M. She's a little uh, more human, but we'll get into that later. But yeah, here's one. Yeah, here's the right question. Right now, we have Bowser versus She-Ra. Uh, okay. Right. Well, well She-Ra has uh, to take time to transform. She takes almost almost thirty two seconds to transform in her whole thing. So, Bowser really? just walk up. Chomp. Holy crap, Bowser could kill her in that time. Just breathe fire on her. But he's also got magic, so he could, like, use a magic spell on her. It well, depends. Here's the question. If she's transformed would or she, not. Yeah, would she transform before the tournament actually begins because she knows she's going to need the strength? Would she do that, or would she just be stupid? Well, she doesn't know that. I mean... She doesn't know. She, does she do like these guys know they're going in a tournament, or they just appear there and say we have to? Oh play. yeah, oh yeah. They know. That's uh. That's why Kenshin actually killed his opponents in the last tournament is because he knew it was either kill them or die himself. Well then, she, well, well then, Adora would be prepared. I mean, you know, seriously, uh, she's she's one of those types where she goes, okay, He Man may run in blindly, smashing every damn thing to in Kingdom Come, but I'm like, okay, I'll think about this for a moment. Look, 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 look. look. Okay, she time, then step in and kick the crap out of something. It's pretty much well, the way it is. It takes 32 seconds. Well, that's in the it's in the cartoon. It takes 32 seconds, but in truth, it probably take what is it, nine, ten seconds maybe. That's still enough time to kill you. But if she has time to transform, it don't matter how long it takes. I think that she just cuts him in half, unfortunately. Well, let's put it this way. Let's let's assume that she's in She-Ra form because we have to use the most powerful version of her anyways. So her in her most powerful form, she's already She-Ra. Uh, with that being said, though, Bowser can still summon lightning, can still teleport, and can still turn her into a frog. So well, wait a minute, his most powerful form is Giga Bowser. So is Giga Bowser, str how strong is G Giga Bowser? It never really says. He's just super... It depends on, uh, it depends on how good you are in Super Smash Brothers. Well, like, I mean, let's just say he's a hundred times more powerful than Bowser is. See, this is where we get to these things where it's like, oh yeah, you know, Bowser would smash She-Ra, or She-Ra would smash him. Then it's like, well, wait a second, this is harder than it looks. Yeah, it really is. The thing it is, is you got to debate. If you're using the most powerful form, then Giga Bowser would be considered, quote unquote, the most powerful form of it. Then you still have to do She-Ra. Does She-Ra get the lucky strike and the uh, slicing dicing? Because her sword could probably hack through the shell. Mm. Yeah, and that's one thing about the uh, the show for She-Ra. She was actually never shown using the sword offensively. That's true, and the thing it is, is also, also her animal empathy may work for her against Bowser as well. He's not really an animal, he's, sen he's sen sentient. Yeah, but he is a, a turtle lizard thing. Well, sort of. technically, humans are animals too, so I wouldn't work on humans too. It might. I mean, we got enough upskirt shots to kill a plow horse. Okay. Now we're getting into the realm of possibilities. Well, um, let's, don't you, just don't say, you? let's just say that um, She-Ra somehow shields her mind from being turned into a frog or whatever. Yeah. Could Bowser just cast a spell? Bowser, like, Bowser can still cast... Well, he can still cast lightning. Is she fast enough to dodge the lightning? Well, depends well, if, if, if she lets the... Depends if she lets the crotch attack of doom comes out. Every time she lifts her leg, a little flash of light comes out. So... What? 
It's in the cartoon. Look at it. F-Shine, she's kicking something. A little flashlight comes out between her legs. It's like, whack! It's to it's prevent her from having upskirt shots. Okay, um... Would Bowser, yeah. since Bowser knows lots of spells, would could, could, he, um, could he cast, like, a protection spell on himself? Because he knows he's going to be in battle? Because if she can transform first, couldn't he just do these things first, too? Well, one thing that I, I need to figure out is how quick he teleports. He teleports? Yeah, he can teleport. Let's just say qu as quick as you can think of. Because if he can teleport quick enough, he'll just thwack her. Now, granted, even if he thwacks her with his tail or something, she could still live through that. So he's going to have to, like, wear her down and then hit her with lightning or something to kill her. Well, couldn't he just teleport inside of her and then blow her up? Possibly, but we've seen him use it that way. Well, if he can teleport anywhere, then well, obviously he can do that, too. Now, the thing it is, is if she catches him by the tail, she can do what Mario does and swing him around and throw him into a bomb or something. Like, woo, woo, woo. Oh, bomb, just littered it around? <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, or throw, throw him into, like, the ringside or something. It's like, woo, 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 whee! Mario does that. I don't think she'd do that. I mean, if you... Couldn't he just grab the ground as you're spinning him and then, like, throw you at... No, down? it's one of those Bowser derp things that when he's grabbed by the tail, he stops. And he just lets himself be slung around like a daggum idiot. You also have to knock him out, though, wouldn't it? No, it would. Just, she just slings him for distance. It's all. And she goes wee 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 into the wall. Mm, I think Bowser could kill her. All right. Pumpkin's official uh, word is Bowser. Bowser gets the win. I, I, unfortunately, I have to uh, slightly agree with that, but not, not overly so. So you grudgingly accept that it could happen. Yeah, unfortunately, yes. Sira is really great and all, but I don't think she holds the candle to Bowser, only because Bowser has so much more to offer. Yeah, and this goes back to where uh, I mentioned that he is a bit more powerful than you'd originally think, because uh, he can do quite a bit. He's been in a lot of games, and has been shown to have many different abilities. Yep, the only way you and can beat him is with all the up. Yeah, if... <laughs> Unless you have a mustache, you have no chance. <laughs> um, She-Ra, I think I can agree with this. She-Ra eventually gets worn down by Bowser, gets hit by lightning, and that's the end of her. Or oh, the clown car. <laughs> 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 Very awesome. Bowser, the very first victim of uh, part two of the character chaos. Character chaos tournament number two. It's me, Bowser. It's a me, a Bowser. I eat you. Rah. All right, he's moving on. And feeling fancy free. All right, here's the next character. Entering into the tournament is Bugs Bunny. What? He got in here? How? And watch out, Doc. He looks, took a left turn in Albuquerque. Oh, yeah, that could happen. With bugs, yeah, I'd buy that. Let's, uh, let's go down. With, uh, let's give his give his abilities. He actually has a few more abilities than you'd think. Uh huh. I mean. All righty, he's major power from Lastly, uh, Bugs has a few tricks up his sleeve at all times. He can cause guns to backfire by sticking his finger into the barrel. So good luck using a gun on. He can erase other cartoon characters with an eraser as he has been shown to do. And he is rarely in a situation that he cannot make to his advantage. Also, he's a cartoon, so he's basically immortal. Yes. Ex except if you have the ooze, or what's it called? Uh, the the, the, the dip. He's he is craftier and far more intelligent than most other rabbits and cartoon characters as well. So he's a bit of a stinker, as he would say. Yeah, aren't I a stinker? And his voice is done by Mel Blank. One of my, uh, he's dead now, but he's he was really cool. Died eighty nine. <laughs> Alrighties, um, going up against Mr. Bugs Bunny. Oh wow! Oh, it's Jerry Springer. Who? Jerry Springer dies. Jerry Springer will uh, uh probably do a show on uh, the Wabbit that did something wascoy with Elmo Fudd's wife. <laughs> I'm afraid never had a wife, though. He shot her by accident. As I said. Now, Jerry Springer's 
Jerry Springer's major power is inciting chaos. No shit. Uh, his biggest asset is his ability to cause chaos. He can enrage anyone at any time and could use this to his advantage to gain the upper hand. While not overly strong and lacking any superpowers, Jerry can still hold his own in a fight. He'll need every advantage he can get in this tournament, though. He's I'm, gonna say, so. I'm gonna say Bugs kills him, puts dynamite in his pants, and blows him up. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I can, I can see that happening very easily. Because, uh... Bugs Bunny, I've never really seen him angry. I have. He's only lost. I, I think he's lost his temper like once that I could, that I could physically recall of, and that was oh boy. It's because yeah, it, but, yeah because Elmer Fudd was drawing him at the time. I was doing that you, drawing bit. Don't you oh, remember? Don't you realize this means war? That's when he gets mad. He's not mad, dude. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. When he physically gets angry, you know he's really pissed because because uh, at one skit. One cartoon, Elmer Fudd was actually physically drawing on the pad, and Bug Bunny, he really got pissed. The thing it is, is when he goes, this, of course, you know, this means wall, means he's planning to kick your ass, but he's not angry. He's just going to return the favor in kind and really make you look horrible at the same time. But when he's pissed off, you'll see what I'm talking about. That's not what the animators said, but okay. Yeah, well, I think, I think this one was pretty cut and dry. Jerry Springer can incite chaos, but... Bugs is already chaotic. He's a cartoon character. He's, a, he's already chaotic, yeah. Uh, Bugs would find some way to... Well, as you guys said, throw some dynamite in his pants and... Uh, Watch me explode. Jerry Springer. Excellent. Bugs Bunny, moving on. Jerry Springer. Adding him to the pile of dead <laughs> bodies. <laughs> that was an easy one. Yep. It was any easier. You could have offered it five bucks. Lecter versus Buggy Bunny. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Next character to oh. enter into the tournament. We have Hannibal Lecter. Oh, God. He likes to call me dinner for two. Good old Hannibal. Let me get to his uh, profile here. He's Major crazy. Powers. Cannibal, anatomy expert, and genius. Early odds of survival, 65%. Master manipulator, uh, too. Let's see. Here we go. Lecter is a brilliant psychologist and can easily get into the mind of his victims, causing them to do things just as he plans that ultimately leads them into his trap. His entry into medical school at an early age and earned him a mastery of anatomy. He knows exactly where to strike, where it will cause the most damage, and has been shown to kill a man with a single quick thrust to an artery. The combination of precision coupled with his ability to play mind games is, compl is complemented with good strength for a normal human being and makes Hannibal a deadly contender. He's also, so bad. he's also completely cold and has no emotions. Yeah, he will kill you. And he and wants he has no to. About it. So, who is the unlucky person that goes against Mr. Uh, Dines on people? I feel sorry for whoever it is. If it's not he oh, wouldn't attack me bad. Oh dear. Solid snake. Solid snake shoots him I uh, would shoot him in the head. Solid snake. Now the snake kinda know. wins. Chess. Don't forget Solid Snake is not entirely human. He's also he's like cybernetic, isn't he? Like No, nanobot. no, no, he ah. only his only his eye is. Somebody's buzzing my door. Alright, hold on, I gotta we can pause this for a second. Uh, I'll pause at the door. Hold on.